I friends this is soft reason in this lesson uh, I will be taking you a presentation on how to uh, model uh, something like this okay All right this is oil tank carrier okay a cylindrical air oil tank carrier all right so we'll be doing this using a uh, levels okay all right so let's go into it all right so if you uh, look at this you will notice that uh, i have a uh, different levels of grids okay so i have been able to uh, set my grids this is the species of uh, uh, 2000 uh, two meter two meter okay and so in my previous lesson i've thought uh, i have to set uh, levels okay so you can see this is 500 level this is 500 and uh, five this is 5000 level sorry and this one is uh, 5500 level and this is 6500 level okay and so we will be doing the modeling based on this level okay all right so let's start and so i want to actually uh do control p i'll click on this one okay this view okay then do control p so i will have it in 3d just like this okay so i will now go to edit tab okay and then go to constructions i want to use cycle okay so i click here and then i want to have a radius because uh, i'm considering a cylindrical uh, tank of uh, diameter at uh, 4000 okay so I'm having a radius of 2000 just like this so I will do a radius of 2000 at this level mind you this level is the zero level okay this level is the zero level and so since I have a cycle at this level you can notice that at this other level you cannot see the cycle okay alright so I have a cycle here alright this is level uh, zero okay and so uh, I want to also have the same cycle at level 500. So I will uh, deselect this command. Okay, deselect this command. Click here, and then and I will be able to zoom in, and then go to construction line again. Pick a cycle. Then I'll have a cycle of this same radius here. Okay, so having a cycle of this same radius here. If you check level 500, 5500 is actually showing the cycle. Okay. And so the next thing I will do, I will uh, deselect the command, activate this level 6500, and then I will zoom in, go to construction lines, and then at this level I want to have a construction line cycle of radius uh, 5, uh, uh, radius, I want to use the radius 500, yeah, okay, sorry, 500, and then hit on the enter button, you have something like this. Okay, so at the level 5500, I want to, uh, I want to deselect the command, activate the window, okay, by clicking on it, okay, and then go to the construction line, pick the construction line, then at this level, I want to still have a circle of radius, uh, construction line of radius uh, 2000, just like this, so I clicked here. Yeah. Alright, so after which I deselect uh, the commands. Okay, so if you come to the 3D, uh, you notice that the the tank have already show itself uh, by using this construction line. Okay, you can see the top here. Uh, you can see the angle here, and then the main body of the uh, volume tank. Okay, and so uh, what I want us to do now is uh, we will be uh, using. Uh, plates okay this is going to be a plate okay a steel plate okay the body of the tank is going to be a steel plate of a, a, a steel plate of a, a diameter we will be having a, a 20 mm okay so i will go to steel okay so this is still i'll come to plate okay now i will click on the plate in the drop down i will select great lifted plate okay just like this i click on it okay so i will now select this first construction line 
okay just like this i will select the second cons construction line just like this and i'll have something of this kind okay so i can undo this just like this okay if i undo this you see they will go away okay so i want to replace this again so i want to just change this um profile to pl uh, 20 okay just like this i have to change this profile okay i'll change this profile then i'll come to this uh, class and then i will be having uh, this class for now okay so i'll select this now and then be able to select this so i can have uh, something of this kind okay so if you rotate it you notice that this is where hollow uh, plate it has a volume where it will contain the oil or other liquid okay that we that might be used for okay all right so uh, after which uh, I will st proceed okay I will have to proceed to or uh, I will proceed to uh, creating uh, clicking on this uh, construction line this radius of uh, 500 millimeter click on that radius all right so once I click on the radius I will select this to form the cover of the tank so I click this then now I have something of this kind okay so this form the cover of this uh, tank okay so what i want to do now is uh, i will also form the anger okay so by selecting this one now and then i will select this one just like this okay so this is what we have uh, you know successfully uh, created or model so you can see the volume of the tank okay so we want to carry out some other editing okay so we click and deselect the command just like this okay so you can now select this one if you select this one sorry this one okay you can change the class okay let's change the class to uh, this one uh, let's use this okay for now all right if you use this one for that i will also change this class to also uh to using uh, this uh this one okay and then i will modify just like this okay so i want to uh, actually select this this is too high and it is 1500 so i want to bring it down uh, to uh, 500 okay bring it down to 500 so i type 500 and i click <coughs> All right, so this is it all right the next thing i want to bring down is the diameter okay so i want it to be too closed okay so i can use two just two mm okay so it will close up the the, uh, the cover okay all right so it's just something of this kind all right so we have successfully created the model uh, if you rotate this model okay like this you notice that uh, the uh, bottom is not closed the bottom is open okay you can see so we want to close the bottom of this model okay so we need another plate of this same uh, uh, thickness okay to close the bottom so what we need to do now is uh, we are going to turn this this way and we will be working on this level this is the zero level okay the zero level is different from this other level so will be working on the zero level so as to close the bottom so i click on the main uh, cylinder right click and then i want to add this okay for a moment so i can be able to create uh this uh, the bottom okay so uh, what i need to do now is i will go to uh, edit tab okay then select construction line circle as well and then i pick this point i'll be having a circle of radius for 50 just click this it will be adjusted later okay all right so after which i will deselect the commands just like this if i deselect the commands i will go to steel okay activate this uh, uh created loft uh, all right this same um, uh, thickness okay i may change the class now to this one okay and then i'll be able to pick this one and then pick this to have a plate or thickness of uh, 20 mm you can see okay just like this so i will deselect the command and then be able to select this at this point i'm having 450s i want to bring it down to one so i want it to be closed entirely so i click outside to close it okay just like this 
all right so after which uh, i will right click and then click on redraw to bring back the main cylinder okay so you can see all right so after which counted to see the under is being covered now all right okay so the next thing we are going to do we are going to wait you can see this one is individual this one is individual and this one is also individual as well as the under is individual these are separate uh, fabricated uh, uh, materials that is to be combined okay so we are going to use a fillet uh, word okay fillet word to weld them together okay so what we need to do is uh, we will have to uh, we will have to uh, actually uh, go to uh, steel okay fillet you can see this one wait okay click on it once you click on it uh, you will have a dialog okay in this dialog okay you will see fillet it is a 6 mm fillet length okay below line okay all right below line we are going to use below line and not above line okay in above line we are having everything you are zero okay so i uh, will select the first object which is this one and then i'll select this one okay all right after which uh, you will notice that this has weighted to this one okay this sign you are seeing this one okay so i want to also want to select this one I'll select this one and then select this one you see this sign you are seeing this one this is the fillet uh, word sign okay so it's being weighted okay so I uh, will rotate this thing to so as to see the bottom I will rotate it like this sorry So I want to select this button just like this and select this so it's being weighted together you can see the fillet weight sign okay so after which I will I will deselect the command okay click on it click on the redraw then I can now uh, fit work area to entire model just like this so you can have this this are the fair word sign this one this one and this one okay so this word sign you can also remove it okay so the next thing i will want us to do now is uh, i will go to the uh, plan view which i will do control p just like this to go to the plan view we want to create a slab okay we are this tank we sit on okay so i will go to uh, the concrete tab okay just like this and then I click on the uh, this uh, slab okay so I will be considering a slab thickness of uh, 300 mm okay just like this 300 mm and then the the material class I will be use this uh, miss uh, class okay then uh, this class uh, this uh, this class okay this one is the material profile okay this class i will be using this i will be using this because this a little bit uh, look like a concrete okay so i want to uh, start from i want to pick this i want to pick this point pick this point this one pick this one just like this okay my you we are at the zero level okay so if you check very well you can see over here position at depth behind okay behind meaning this tank is sitting on it okay but if you select this place and then check middle it will go up into the tank okay so it is the behind that is the best in this case okay and then uh, if you see this uh, cast uh, unit you can see cast to it is precast okay this is precast meaning this was done uh, at the site and uh, it was what done in the factory and then brought to the site okay so it, it is a precast uh, slab okay not casting placed okay 
all right so after which uh, i will uh, disallow the command and then uh, i do ctrl p just like this so you can see what we have done so far okay so we are able to create this uh, cylinder okay this oil carrier cylinder okay and then as well as the base okay this one is the base all right so if i click on this grid lines and then i right click and then i click on it can be able to add grid line at this view while the grid line in other views are still uh, are actually active okay so uh, i can decide to remove this uh, view this one and then i will go here and then maximize this okay so you can see what we have done so far okay just like this okay all right so after which uh, these are these uh, symbols of webbing okay so i can click on this view and i click and then i click on properties and then i come to display in this display i can if you check here you see where it's you can see being check okay if i uncheck here you will not find that sign again on th those uh, lines okay so you can click on then modify apply and then i click on okay i modify uh, apply to and okay so you see the f uh, the way sign has been uh, uh, removed okay so but mind you all this has been weighted together successfully so you can also click on this and then uh, i this okay so you can see what you have done very well so this is what we have for today's lesson okay and so uh, we in the next lesson we'll be doing a uh, a steer okay it's not going to be a spiral steer this time around we are going to uh, do after steer okay in the next lesson okay so you will do well to uh you will do it to subscribe okay you do it to subscribe and stay tuned for the next advanced lessons using tecla structure bye for now